Okay. Let's go again. I'll be for again. Rebel. So not F3 didn't work out that bad last time. Uh, provoking E4, if he doesn't do. Uh, okay, but still the bishop seems a bit awkward on D6. Again, a quick C4, Knight C3. The knight's also a bit awkward blocking in the C pawn. So. Um, C5, B4, try and get E5 control. On the other hand, if CD, I'll get nice like Queen's pawn. If C5, I don't know, B5 doesn't seem that tempting anymore. Uh, I'll, I'll still go with this plan, I think. C5, B4. Queen B3 to attack D5. Queen B3. There's no knight D2 at the moment. Uh, and then maybe think about something else after. So Rook D1 or something. Maybe A4 and B5 actually. Rook D1 just to support. Oh God, bishops and pre. <laughs> <laughs> The bishops in pre. Oh, Gordon Bennett. Ah, oh. <laughs> quality. <laughs> How did that happen? Uh, like Queen B two support D four rather desperately. I don't like the variation he chose actually that much. It's sort of like in a strange variation of the French. Finchet Bishop's not that great. So, um, yeah, took the fun out with black uh, out of this system. But uh, still, uh, if I can get in b5, maybe uh, that might be an advantage. Okay, so knight e5 here, trying to grab the dark square bishop. Takes some diagonals useful, surely. Uh, right, so what do you want? Uh, drop the a pawn. Does it matter? D4, it's more important to stop D4. This is F3 here, trapping the bishop. D4. Uh, so rook d1, queen a4, there's f3. I'll go for that. So f3 here. There's bishop c2. There's rook d5. Or. Play rook d2 to play f3. Oh, let's just try and win d5. Oh. Okay. Where is that move? Hmm. Don't want to lose my dark square bishop, particularly. I'll move it. Let's try and get this diagonal working instead. So bishop c2, rook c1 maybe, or just queen c2 takes, rook c1, uh, mind you e5 is going to drop, uh, this isn't that convincing, there's also d3, mind you he's opened up the diagonal so um, I'm protecting e5 it's not all bad, if I can get in um, Get in here. G 
key for. Rookie four, I think. It's top ninety fours. Hmm. Okay. So I want to somehow make use of these these dark squares. H four, H five, H six. That's an idea. Okay. There's a knight G three on the other hand. King H2 to defend that. Right, I think looking at rook C2s. F4, would seem to block in Bishop. Um, B5 might be interesting. Takes and rook c2, b5. Uh, just queen c3, maybe. Queen c3. About to speed up here. Let's think about this. Oh. Alright, so, um,. Dismantled. Right, rookie one e six maybe try and get in queen f six takes queen f six. Maybe that's a plan. Try for that. Going on. Uh, mm, G three, Bishop H three. That might actually be an idea to get rid of this horrible knight on F five. G three and Bishop H three. Something quick. E six. So that idea of previously going to queen f six, trying to get into king position. We get into mine. Now there's bishop c three, queen g six. That's pretty good. So let's push ourselves out play for the moment. Um, oh, clock advantages as well, all of a sudden. Bishop uh, F4, give me tempo. Oh. Uh, Queen G5 maybe. Let's pin on E8. Right, what do I want to do here? Play Bishop D2 again? Yeah, probably now. Bishop B4. Um, actually, maybe Bishop C4 check. Uh, could be arranged. Or H5, or Queen H6. Or King G3. Bishop G4. H5 or Queen G6. <laughs> oh dear. Um, I'll win this 
C7 form. Oh, it's too late. Or maybe just wrong on time. <laughs> Given I've completely messed up the position. <laughs> so anyway, that was that was a really awful game. And um these games probably damage your chess actually, it has to be said. <laughs> because <laughs> what you can learn about spot the spot where to win the piece, so E two is always a bit of a problem here if I'm gonna move the queen. So <laughs> queen <laughs> So the tactic, knight takes c3, was actually winning a piece. The rook takes e2 here, which he missed, because he was focused on the strategic idea of undermining d4. And some questions on YouTube.